Hey guys, this is a pretty much a commentary track or a dub over a the second part of my Enderail video that I made today. Apparently, I forgot to record my webcam. So in turn, I also forgot to record my own voice. So now I have to do this commentary over this video. So... And I think that's this is going to be actually pretty fun. This is going to be more fun to do. So, um, I've never done this before. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, we start off um, kind of going through the shore. And the captain of the ship threw us off because we were stowaways. Um, and where we're friends with this guy, also, and just we were thrown off board because we were caught by this veiled woman. So now we're here and kind of exploring around, getting to know the area, this part of Andorail. And it's just, it really is, uh, whoa. Oh. So. <laughs> So, while I was trying to crouch, see, I was trying to, like, see all these keyboard controls, I was still getting used to it, and I was, and now it's fixed, I, sometimes my TV was, like, freaking out when I pressed control to, to sneak, and then, and then when it rose back up, it just flared again. Um, there was a lot of colors going around when I did it, but... Um, okay, so probably you guys can see. That. Oh my gosh, they scared me again. Okay, so I got just as surprised. This was actually kind of mild, but I literally I was hoping to zoom in my in my camera, but I found them. I saw them in the in the grass. But then I just couldn't catch them in time, so I just made this, like, kind of face. I was, like, really surprised. And, uh... Oh, man, that was really fun. I called pit rats instead of skeepers, but I'm gonna call them skeepers. Uh, yeah, so, just search around. Got this carrot. I'm still kind of getting used to, like, because... I mean, I never used food before in Skyrim. I always use potions for health and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of kind of skill, different skill stuff going around. And I don't know. I guess that's just what you call it. There's different. Uh, there's a different way of getting stuff. There's like skill points and everything. And there's learning points. I don't know if that's interchangeable or that's the same thing. But... Uh, oh yeah, this is the, this isn't, this isn't the Forgotten Temple, but, oh, what this is called, this is called the Abandoned Temple, that's what it was called, uh, yeah, that Mara, that Mara, uh, temple, or <laughs> statue, not temple, a statue, is missing a, a key, which that key is right there. I'm looking at it, and you can see it too. It's right, it's right there, but like to the left of the R of that rattle to close, right there is that skeleton key. It's not called skeleton key. It's called like a rune key or whatever. Yeah, we need that later on. So yeah, this is this is me kind of looking around and seeing the map. At first, I was I was reading that, and at first, I was like, "Oh, this is a credit to uh, the illustrator of the map," and, I, and it was, "Oh no, it's not. It's just um, the character, or or no, like a like an actual map, you know, not like a credit or anything." It's a little tiny island that we might go to later. And oh uh, yeah, uh, one of the things I was explaining by myself was that in Skyrim there was this you know, the storyline but you can also it was sandbox so you can go and do whatever you want you can do side quests or anything like that 
which is what I'm hoping for in this game. It's not like a linear thing. I really hope this is um, another sandbox type of thing, or type mod, I guess you could say. Yeah, then this is like a learning book right here. It's Elementalism Apprentice. It costs, it costs, uh, oh yeah, it costs learning points to learn learning books uh, for this thing. I think that ties in with the skills, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. This is one of the things that I was talking about, about different um, mechanics. That's the word. The different mechanics in this uh, game. I think I'm just going to call it a game instead of a mod. Because I, I feel better about that. So here's the skeleton key right here. Or the, or the whatever key. So now that we have that, we can go into the level 1. It's considered on the wiki. I had to look this up on the internet. So I had to like just edit out this kind of still shot of just me waiting there. Oh yeah. And then these things rise up. What I like about Skyrim puzzles is that and and really I think most puzzles in general is that it uses its environments. And I really like that. It's it's still a little hard. I'm not much of a puzzle player, but I do I do like my fair share of puzzle games though. Like I'm new to the dark descent, I played that. And like with Pocket Mirror, Pocket Mirror has puzzles. And I like the, and I like that, but I need help. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, this is the um this is the level one abandoned temple, I think. Yeah, over here you got a the key of the forgotten temple, which is probably later on, I think. I don't know for like dungeon captures or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how many like I don't know how many dungeons we're gonna go through. But hopefully No, I I kind of hope that we do go through a lot of temples, but I like in Skyrim, they have, that ha those have uh, plenty of temples, which I like. There's, you know, that's my favorite actually. It's my, my favorite uh, aspect of adventure in Skyrim is there the temples, and the shrines and the caves are so well done. Just the atmosphere and the music, you, like hear that. Like the, ooh, it's it's they did Bethesda did such a good job on the atmosphere of these uh, caves and such. Well, not in this one. I mean, just I mean th this this game or Enderal did the same thing, but still, it's still very very effective. Oh yeah, we find a bow here. Find a bow and a bunch of learning books. I don't know how useful the learning books are gonna be later on. But hopefully they will be, and add just an extra layer of fun. Oh yeah, the game tells you. Actually, it's it, to me it's implying that you can't just just stand and wait, with, like skip a certain amount of time. Just like in Skyrim, you have to use a bed in a tavern or in a cave really when it's provided so it kind of adds like that you know how pocket mirror is with the with the little um, boxes there's like they're spaced out with each other and so so i think that's gonna be with this game is that you can't wait a certain amount of time, you have to use some beds that are spread around, spread out in the environment, which kind of sucks, but eh, don't really care. So we're going through this area, and it hurts something, or it increases in arcane fever, which I don't really know what that is yet, but it this kind of air in this particular area, maybe from the crystals, it's it increases our arcane fever, which is bad in a way, but it doesn't lower our health. So 
it, the arcane fever might affect us later on, I'm guessing, since it's not affecting us now. And that was Ambrosia, which helps reduce our Ambrosia to zero. So now we go through this door, which leads us to the uh, second level of the abandoned temple, which you'll see in a minute is uh, a lot, a lot more smaller. machine why does it seem so familiar kind of exploring the area which is what I like to do a lot I like to explore the areas all around to get a sense of where I'm at when it comes to big areas like when I play Dark Souls or something like that or, well, well, actually, Dark Souls, I just try to be careful. That's why I explore the areas very, very slowly. But, yeah, this is apparently a machine. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that does, though. It's encompassed with trees and a pond and lily pads. Lily pads. But we're going... Oh, yeah. And this leads to... Um... <laughs> I can't... Well, what are those called? Wind windmills, I think. Windmills or uh, I don't think they're called windmills. I don't know. I don't know what those are. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, there's a potion. There's another spell tome, Theon, which raises a health potion. Yeah, he's the caster, six points per second. Worsens your arcane by 0.5 percent. Handy dandy. So here we are. <laughs> going back and going to that valve that was clearly in my face. And that raises up the um, windmill. That one. Uh, and to let us pass. Which soon will meet a very, very good friend of ours. But, well, actually, not a friend, but <laughs> a reincarnated friend. Oh yeah, and then we get a blueprint of some leather boots, which is interesting. Skyrim, Skyrim didn't have that, but it didn't have blueprints of a, of houses. If you had, if you had like Hearthfire, you had blueprints of a house. Those those were the only blueprints provided, not like merchandise or anything like that. Here I am switching my bow, and I don't have any shield, which is very very bad in this battle. And he regenerates. You'll see, he regenerates his health. Yeah, he like slowly regenerates. It sucks. And just save, just in case. And for some reason, it tells me it tells me to sneak when undetected. But I'm already detected. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't get you, Enderail. Mud elemental. Interesting. I'm trying to block with my sword. I'm trying. I'm improvising. Oh yeah, this potion apparently regenerates 9 health for 4 seconds. But it, I didn't know it worsened my arcane fever by 2 points, which is pretty bad. I uh, don't want that. Uh, so I made a mistake. I probably shouldn't have taken 2. Because that was like... I, I pretty much just wasted and worsened my arcane fever, so that was just not even a win. That was just a lose-lose. And now I'm just going to yeet. I'm going to yeet out of here. <laughs> Watch this. It comes over. <laughs> and I just leave. Nice. So that's the end of, it starts with a dream and starts a new beginning. Um, at first I thought this area was the place where we started out with the dream because it was because the trees and the plant, there was so many exotic stuff around and there, and there was like the same exact sun lighting, you know? But sadly it's not, it was just a dream. Not anything. Not anything reality-wise. 
But this is the end of the video. So I had a fun time doing this. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like this. And thank you all so much for watching. This was very fun uh, commentating. Maybe I'll do this uh, later down the road. So uh, see you guys later. You have a great day.